There's a huge mistake that a lot of us amateur golfers make, and I'm guilty just as much as the next guy. That mistake is just coming out to the range, banging a bucket of balls, maybe taking a few putts and a couple of chips, and then walking away. I would challenge you to be much more mindful about your practice, to really think about what you're trying to work on, to have a set of goals, and to have something to work towards so that every minute you spend out here practicing is fruitful in some way, shape, or form and helps really move the needle in your golf game. I found an app that I think a lot of us should take a very serious look at. In fact, I took a look at it this month and I've been using it to improve my swing, my putting, and all different parts of my golf game. And I've gotta say, I really think it's made an impact, especially when it comes to the short game. So the app I've been using is called Core Golf. What it does is it helps you build a practice plan. It helps you set goals for your game. It helps track your performance over time and it holds you accountable, which may be the most important thing this app does. Now, Core Golf sponsored this video and I get approached by a lot of companies asking me to take a look at their apps or take a look at their technology. And so many times it's cheap or it doesn't work right or it's got a bad user experience or it's just too darn expensive. Well, this app, when I saw it, really checked all the boxes for me and I decided I wanted to make this review because I literally wanted to improve parts of my game. It has done that for me and I think it could do that for you and that's why I'm showing it for you here today. So the first thing you do when you launch this app is you're going to go through a little bit of a questionnaire. You're gonna tell a little bit about your game, what your current handicap is if you have one or if you're just starting out and you don't have anything, this will help you start from scratch as well. Then you're gonna to come to a list here where you can literally rank your goals. Do you wanna get better off the tee? Do you wanna improve your approach shots, master your short game, become a recovery magician, or perfect your putting? And literally you can drag and drop these, reorder them as you like. Next is gonna take you to another screen that asks you which issues apply to you. And you're gonna choose some of the flaws you have in your game. Do you slice it, do you hook it? Do not hit enough greens, etc. For me, it was that I don't drive it far enough. As you know, I'm a mere mortal. I'd love to get a little bit more distance off the tee. I hope that also translates to my irons and wedges and my entire game, but I definitely don't drive it far enough. And I do struggle with shots on hills and slopes. Being in Florida, it's super flat here. I don't get an opportunity to hit too many of those types of shots. It's something I definitely would like to work on. And I'd like to work on perfecting my putting because I don't think I'm as consistent. I don't think I strike it in the middle as much as I would like to do. So you can choose what you'd want for yourself. Now, once you do that, this app is going to build you a custom practice plan. And then you're going to come to this screen where you can choose, do you wanna pay for this monthly, yearly, or do you wanna start a free trial? So yes, you can actually try the Core Golf app free for seven days and see if you like it, which I love that. But then look at the pricing here. Monthly is $4.49. That's not even the price of a bucket of balls. Yearly, $27.49. That's about a third of what it would be to take a golf lesson with a PGA professional. So to me, the pricing in this app really caught my attention. It seems like an absolute no brainer. So this is the plan that this app built for me. It includes all the different drills that I'm working on, which is the sweet spot drill, one-handed putts, developing speed one and two, the ball below my feet and downhill lie drills as well. If we bounce into this one, this is one I've been working on, I really enjoy. What you're gonna do when you come into the, a drill is you're going to see a quick video and it's not a big long drawn out thing. It's usually about 30 seconds. Take a look at this. Time to start improving your strike with our sweet spot gate drill. Find an empty spot on the green with about 10 feet of space. From there, place your putt ahead and then put two tees in the ground, one on the toe side and one on the heel side. Try to leave a very small amount of space between the putter head and each tee. Once you're set up, try to hit as many putts as you can without touching either of the tees. So what I love about that is it's quick, it's easy, it's to the point. If I'm out there practicing, if I'm sitting on the putting green watching this, I can't be watching a 10, 20 minute video and then trying to put that into practice. I need something I can easily digest, so I love that. Then you're actually going to push the button here and you're going to get started. You're gonna go through the drill and you're literally gonna to try to complete the drill. It's keeping track of how much time you're spending on that drill and when you're done, you're going to enter a score. 
that score is going to get recorded and then you can literally just move on to the next drill or again you could bounce around to other parts in this app now we're going to get to the scoring and the performance breakdown here in a second but let me also show you there's other ways that you can build a plan you can literally create a custom plan for yourself i'm going to do that by hitting create a plan and again we're going to get a number of drills that you can work on here you can go off the tee approach shots short game putting or recovery so let's go into the short game here because that's something that a lot of us amateurs don't work on nearly enough and if you've seen my videos especially the one i recently did on getting started in golf i was saying that you should spend double the time on the short game as we do at the range so i'm going to choose short game here and i'm going to choose ladder drill i'm going to choose a bump and run drill i'm going to choose a stick it drill and i'm going to choose the plug lies drill then I'm gonna move over to putting. I'm gonna do that sweet spot drill. I'm gonna to go to lag putting, and I'm gonna choose a couple more here that I'd like to work on. Then you can set how many sessions from one to 10. If you wanna do this right, if you wanna get the most out of it, I'm gonna say go ahead and do all 10, but you can set that number to whatever number you would like. Then you're gonna name that plan. We'll call it my April plan. And you're gonna hit go and then finish. It's going to build you that plan and again take you through that same process so if i click on my april plan you can see i've got eight drills i should be able to complete this over about 100 minutes worth of practice and i can hit continue now word of advice here from me it's not necessarily built into this app it's not necessarily talked about in this app but i am telling you i think if you really want to make strides in your game you've got to play a minimum of twice a week and if you want to drop your handicap by two three or more strokes this season i would suggest you play three times for me practicing three times a week is the magic number to really getting results and making a marked improvement in my golf game so that's my little challenge to you now let's say you take that challenge on for yourself the great thing about this app is that it will hold you accountable to those goals and those challenges that you set for yourself. If we go into performance here in this app, you can see your practice discipline. And as you can see here, I'm a leaning towards slacking here. I have not been grinding lately. I've been making a lot of videos here on the channel, as you probably know. So I haven't been out there practicing as much as I should. But you can also see how I'm doing in all the different areas of my game that I'm working on. So off the tee, I'm at 79%, approach 75, short game 75%. I'm doing a little better there in putting 81% and recovery 81%. So I love this the app literally holds you accountable and that's so important in reaching your goals. And it's something that's lacking in our digital age. We often don't have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with friends, with golf coaches, that sort of thing. If you're used to just using an app and kind of staying in your own bubble, this is going to be like your personal assistant in helping make sure that you're motivated and getting the results that you've committed to. Now, a third way beyond the app kind of setting up a practice plan for you or you deciding which drills you want is you can literally work on just a specific part of your game. So here on the home screen of this app, you can see we can work on plans related to one part of our game, like precision putting or short game mastery, finding more fairways, getting out of bunkers, all those sorts of things. Now, one in particular that I think a lot of us could use and really benefit from, and what I plan on using myself, is the pre-round warm-up. If you've ever gone to a PGA Tour event or an LPGA event, any professional golf tournament, you probably know the pros don't just show up, hit a few balls, and get out to the first tee. They go through a very detailed and strategic practice plan, and this app has a pre-round warm-up built into it that I think all of us could use, especially if you're gonna play a club tournament or any competition throughout the year. So you can see that you've got a number of drills that you can work on. You can do this over about a 90 minute period. And I think this is a great way to be very intentional about your warm-up and make sure that you're fully prepared to hit the first tee box in the right mindset with the right focus and having really worked on your entire game and being as prepared as you can be. I absolutely think that by using this app over the course of an entire season, we can all lower our handicaps a few strokes. In my particular case, I've got a goal eventually, eventually at least, to get to a scratch handicap. Right now I'm sitting at 4.3, I think it is. When I started this channel, I started at about an eight. So it's taken me all these years now to drop just four strokes in my handicap, but the further you drop, the harder it gets. And I think this is the motivation I need in order to do that. Now, let's talk about some of the pros and the cons of this app, starting with the pros. 
First of all, the price. How do you beat that? Again, I think they've priced this app in the no-brainer range. It's so affordable. Anyone can use this app and start improving their game. Number two, I love the user interface of this app. I think it's easy to figure out what to do, how to build one of these plans, and again, how to track all the performance. The third thing I love about this app is that it shows you how you're progressing. As human beings, we need to see that we're making progress, that we are getting closer to our goal, that every little step we take is counting towards something. And so many apps don't really show you that necessarily, but this one does it and does it in such a fun way. And the fourth thing I love about this app, again, is that it holds you accountable. That's a missing piece from so many apps out there, and I love that they've built that here into Core Golf. Now, there's no such thing as perfect technology, so there's a few things that I'd love to see improve. The first one being that we really focus with this app on the drills, but it doesn't necessarily get into too many mechanics in your golf swing. So I think this could be really valuable by adding a little bit more detailed instruction I think this app could really take it to the next level. The second thing is kind of related to that, and I'd love for this app to be able to help me record a video and then send it in or send it to my swing coach to analyze. It would be really nice to get feedback and personalized instruction to make sure that, again, not only am I doing the drills, but that they are really working towards something that I'm really improving. Because sometimes I can work on one part of my swing, but that actually introduces a swing flaw in other ways. So I think it's not only important to practice with intention and to get consistent about your practice, but to practice well. And I think by adding a feature like that, this app, again, would just take it to the next level. And the third thing is to offer Android support. So right now, this app is only available for iPhone users. That leaves out half of the world's population. Hopefully, the developers are working on that, and I assume we will see that soon. This app is young and it'll be interesting to see how it evolves. But I gotta say right now, with where it's priced in the market and what it offers, I think it's a great value to money ratio and I plan on using it this season. How about you? Let me know down in the comments what you think of the app. I'd love to know. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something here today. And I hope to hear about all the improvement you make with your golf game this year in 2024. I'll catch you back here next time on another edition of Let's play through.